So we nailed us a coon here. And it looks like just the perfect catch right at the neck. He, that's where you want him, right across the back of the neck. So we're gonna take him out, reset this. And I use a tool on these. Even when I was younger, I struggled setting these, on setting them. Put that safety on there. Now the 220, this, I refer to these as conibears. Conibears though is a trade name, came from Frank Conibear. He invented the conibear and it's a, so Victor owns the trade name to conibears and some of these are conibears, they're Victors. And, but most of them anymore you call body grips, at least that's how they're advertised because uh, conibear is trademarked. But Frank, he invented them I think probably back in the late 50s. And it's not that the concept was totally new. There's, there's nothing new in trapping. Somebody comes up with something and you can find somebody that had used that before. Okay, and he kind of wore out this trail a little bit. We're going to stake it down this time. He went about five feet after being caught. And you always want to stake down your kind of bears because they, they will go a little ways sometimes. And you always treat these with respect. Now, I don't use a safety on these, but I'd recommend getting one. And this is, this is called, we call this, there goes another trapper there. We call this the laser rod. It's made for 110s through 330s. You can mount them on there. And um, call it the laser rod because these are laser cut. They're made to mount the conibear on. And you can see that turns in the ground. Some ground, it's hard enough it won't turn, but I'll show you what you can do, what I do with that. Okay, so we get that up like that. We get our trigger on these. I always keep your, just like a, any trap, you keep your hand clear at all times. Now we got the safeties on here yet. That'll be the last thing we do. We'll take those off. We're going to put a little blocking stick in here. Take the red man snare tool and put a little pilot hole. That'll add, add some stability there. We'll get grass in here. You gotta block these trails down. Otherwise that coon's gonna go right around them. Okay, I got one safety off. I just wrapped up some grass there. Now as I'm doing this, think about this tree behind me here. This is the landmark, but it's possible it could be a den tree as well. Possible, I'm not saying it is. Um, but there's always a trail here. Okay, we're gonna lean that up against there. Not a bad coon. I'm gonna find a few more sticks here, right here. We'll get this trail blocked down. Now I have this conibear set about four inches off the ground there. My friend Red O'Hearn, he'll tell you set them taller, but I want skunks too. Coon can walk over this, so you just give them a little blocking up top here. And um, big coon, they'll just step right over that. It's crazy. Um, so you make them go under, but I want the skunks as well. 
I'd rather catch a skunk than a coon actually. Okay. I'll just fluff this up a little bit here. Get another stick back here. We'll just discourage them. Coons don't mind crawling around. You want that grass cleared out of there, but keep in mind, keep in mind you're dealing with a set trap here. I got nailed the other day on my index finger. Maybe the cameraman can zoom in here. You know how to zoom that, Nate? Okay. It really hurt. I cried. All right, make sure we got all our tools and we'll go on. All right. <laughs> 